Hello and welcome back. This is number nine of um, my abstract mini series and on this video we're going to have a look at many different things that acrylics can do. In our last video we talked about design and composition and we did some exercises in black and white. Before we dive into colour I want to show you some of the amazing things that you can do with acrylics so when you come to doing your composition and design you've got many different options and the skills to know how to create your focal points and how to make your painting really stand out. So without further ado let's get started. So here's the play painting that we were doing last time um, and it's great to actually continue playing. You know, this has got a few layers on it now, which is fun. But let's use this as, as an experiment to see what we're going to do with the different textures that we can get with acrylics. So, you know, this is just playtime. But let's start continuing and seeing how we can push it further. So obviously, um, you know, one can have really, really thick paint with acrylic. I've just got a, um, a buff white here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, hopefully it'll come out, <laughs> I'm going to put some really uh, thick paint on here to start with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my scrapers here and I can really scrape into this and cover areas. Can you see how that can cover up? Now I can actually <clears throat> keep it so I've got some of the things underneath by taking some of it out. When it's thick like this you've got the opportunity of scraping into it. So it's kind of interesting when you when you um, really do this. Then if I was to add a little bit of water to it, so if I'm going to add a bit of water here, obviously I'm going to make it thinner <laughs> and therefore retain some of the things that are underneath. Now this can also apply to if you're if you're glazing. Now what does glazing mean? Well, um, glazing is when you use a lot of water, so you use the acrylic like watercolour. So I've got, a, I've got a cloth, or you could use actually a sponge, a sponge here, either or. And I'm just going to put a little bit of water on this, and I'm going to just drop it into a tiny bit of paint. So I've just got a little bit that's very, very, very watery. And I can glaze, can you see how the colour can change? I've just put a tiny little bit of yellow ochre on here and it tints. So if you don't like the colour and you want to tint, tint it out if you like, this is a wonderful way of doing it. So you can see how that starts to change by using the acrylic like uh, watercolour and using it as a sort of a glaze tint. And I can completely change this whole picture. Now, if I wanted to, I've got this very thick paint here. What I might do is just to see, take some of that out. So I'm going to pull some of that off and I, got what's underneath which is really nice. Let's do it again and so you can do this with the thick paint. You can also do it when you've glazed. If you don't want to have it all the same you can then take some of it out. It has to still be a little bit wet but you can take some of the glaze out then if you put thick paint over the glaze, you start getting some really interesting depth. So for example, if I was to come into here, I'm going to go back to the yellow ochre and I'm going to put some of that in here. 
I'm still getting something that's underneath because it's fairly translucent. But I've got a nice variation of the two, of the glaze underneath and the thicker paint on top. Now, if I wanted to blend this in, I can go back to my, my um, tissue or cloth or sponge and I can blend out the edges, which gives a very kind of soft, interesting effect. And then I can go back in if I wanted to. Let's just take this off here. The possibilities are really endless. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to put a little bit of white in here now. And that's going to mix a little bit with the okra, which is interesting. You see how you can really play around with what you can do with acrylics. There's no just one way. And if you don't like it, you can just paint over it. I mean, it's, it's magical, really. See how that can work. Then, like over here, which I'll do in a minute, I can scratch into this and see some texture from underneath. Let's do that here. See, because it's still wet and it's thick, I can really do some interesting things with it. So we can start to build the painting up with those textures underneath and with different ways of using the acrylic, either really thick paint or really thin paint, and then what's in between. So let's come to um, this area here. Now, uh, we could go completely different. Let's... Um, Let's have a look here. Let's put some black in here. Okay. Then, um, where's my, I'll use this scraper. <clears throat> I can scrape that. Get some nice. Now again, because it wasn't that thick, I've got stuff going on underneath and I can scrape into it. So you've got lots of different possibilities, which is kind of interesting. I can go back into it. There's so many different things that I can do when I'm playing with the acrylics to get different effects. And then as it dries, I can go back in. You see, I can use what's on here. Becomes fascinating. <laughs> you know, our, our possibilities are endless. Endless, endless. Let's do something else. Let's go um, back into... Oh, gosh, I've got some black on here. Just a minute. Take that off. Um... Let's go to the okra and some white. So I've got very thick okra, okra, sorry, okra yellow, and I've got some thinner white. So let's see what happens if I can mix those. And you can mix on, on the paper. You don't have to mix it all on the, on the palette. And you see, still getting some of those lovely things from underneath, which make a painting so interesting and fascinating. And you can keep playing and keep playing with these different things that you can do with um, acrylics. I need to probably let that dry. And then I can go back in and I can glaze it again. I can do some get that texture back from underneath. Can you see how you can build up such interesting paintings? Knowing what you're doing with the acrylics can really, um, you know, give you some fantastic effects. So I'm going to let that dry. We'll come back and we'll just do some more glazing on and see what else we might do. Okay, so it's dry now. 
and we've got still lots of different possibilities and you know we're playing we're seeing what's going to happen maybe what we might do just for the sake of it <laughs> is we might draw some things on top of it we might outline a few things that we like and you know see where it might go just so we've got we want some different textures of everything to make it interesting so now let's take um, some white and what we're going to do is this white is not it's kind of um, mid it's not too thick and it's not too thin so we still we would still get some of the color from underneath just to break some of this up and again because we've got the thick paint underneath even though the white is quite opaque we're still going to get some of that color underneath and blending in the edges let's see what will happen if we put some water on it now one of the nice things that we can do uh, let's pull this in here is if we have it really watery and we want to get some drips so for example I could take some paint here and it's kind of quite watery All right I'm just going to run it along here it's a bit Again, we're just playing, so, you know, whatever we do, it's fine. Let's put a bit more. And then what we should do here, I'm going to tip it up, do it backwards so you can see. So if I put some water in it to here, it's going to start running. Let's get it running a bit. A little bit more water. Again, some nice effects that we can get with it when it's really runny. It's going to run down. Let's see. Bring it upside down. <laughs> right, let's do a bit more. There we go. That's all we wanted. So lots of interesting things um, we can experiment with so we've we have so many different possibilities and then if we don't want all of that we can take a rag or a kitchen roll again we can take some of it out we can take some of this out we can even use what's on the rag here to dab in it's real playtime. It's real, let's see what happens if. Let's see what happens if. <laughs> and, you know, when you're playing like this, try different the different textures of the, of the paint. You know, try it very thin, very thick, and then in the middle. And you'll find that you'll get some really wonderful different effects. Um, with your painting so it's kind of a real nice sort of playtime here <laughs> we can go over things we can scrape into it and get some different kinds of textures then if we want to go back and glaze it again take our wet cloth take some of the paint just a little and we can glaze, see how this is, we can glaze into this. You can see how I can get some other colour in here very subtly. And, oh, it's really nice. <laughs> I'm getting some of the yellow through from underneath, which is good. And then, you know, it holds the painting together with the glaze. You might even glaze with a little bit of white. Let's see what would happen here. OK, 
again different effects you can go in with it with very thick paint again let's mix that together and you can go thick next to it slightly different tone so you can keep playing to your heart's content to discover all the different things that acrylics can do you know from getting the drips to really thick to scraping it to drawing on it layering it you know the layers always make the painting so um, interesting so I hope that gives you a few ideas of some of the different things that you can do and enjoy playing with. You know, I can just carry on doing this <laughs> to see what might happen. You know, it can change totally if we want it to um, and you can see how. And um, the, the most important thing is to uh, experiment yourself to um, get to know what you might do because then when you come to creating a painting you know when you're following your intuition and how it's going to to work you've got some of these skills under your belt um, to help you get those different effects you know when you look at all the different textures on here you know, there's really thick, there's really thin, there's um, all the stuff that's in between. So I'm sure that you will enjoy doing um, this playtime with looking at all the different things that acrylics can do. So leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about how or what's happened if you've done things. Um, if you've got any questions, do ask. And um, if you enjoyed this video, then please like. <laughs> and um, if you want to get some more videos, then press the notification bell. And on my website, um, I've got some uh, free things you can grab. I've um, got a lovely little ebook on colour mixing and a free print. So um, lots to do. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So take care and happy experimenting. Bye for now.